Phoenix Kiss. Hold my hand, pull me closer. It's almost daybreak and we've been walking for hours. In August, it's sticky in Phoenix. So finish your cigarette and we can go inside. Are you going to make your move? I try to listen intently as you tell me about your band, Gone's Panic. I lean in and wonder if you realize it's almost 5 a.m. Suddenly, there we are. Our lips are finally meeting. I move back to take a breath, but can't keep away for long. My hands move throughout your hair. You cup my face in your hands and pull me close. This time, our lips just graze. Will you think about me as you go to work tomorrow? I replay our last kiss before you drive away. I returned to New Mexico. That kiss is the one where I stood on my tiptoes at 6.30 a.m., the blanket wrapped like a shawl around my shoulders, a quick ending for a hot goodbye. <laughs> Gordo. In that goddamn bed at the hospital, after cleaning file cabinets and swapping tales of his deceit, there's more. Physical therapy, crying, shouts of pain, medication, talk of a nursing home. She is 57. I see how hard the journey has been. Insulin shots, foot surgery. I fucking hate you, diabetes, for stealing her vision and today her spirit. 3 or 3 p.m. I'm eating honeydew and cantaloupe from Walmart. Grapes, too. I'm supposed to be back in New York City trying to find a job. My mom is in the hospital, Gerald, Gerald Champion, near the bottom of the mountains. She fell Monday night as we were trying to decide which of her dresses for me to keep. I heard her yell out. She must have tried to sit on the couch on the end. The braille box got in the way. She slid off, landing on her hip, couldn't stand up. Had to call 911, the ambulance came. In the ER, I watched how frustrated she was to need help, how angry I was to not be able to do anything. Nurses, helping hands. After x-rays, she moved into a regular room for the night surgery the next morning. When I came to see her, she was exhausted, drained, slept all day. It gave us a scare when the blood sugar fell to 34, rose back to a normal 120. Last night, we watched TV together, a part of me saying, Jennifer, do not go back to New York. Stay here. Take care of your mom. Be together. I came back to the hospital this morning. She was sitting up, watching The Young and the Restless and eating lunch. Color in her face, conversation, a dozen more I love yous. The doctor says three more days, back to normal soon. I will go back to New York to see what happens, to find a job. She says I have to, that she will visit at Christmas. My mom is writing a book of poetry. She's retired and likes it. She has a life of daily rituals and so many friends. I sit here in Alamogordo at the clear glass kitchen table. Why can't my mom have everything she ever wanted? Love from a good man, the three Ds, dancing, description, a driver. Sylvia just told me on the phone, it takes months to recuperate, that she herself needed a, sh a nurse to help her shower. But she stayed in a nursing home for weeks. How can my mom be sitting in a hospital bed right now? New York City. Is there still magic for me here? I stand on the platform, 2nd Avenue Station. He plays guitar and sings sweetly about 14th Street and a girl on the train. His voice is magic. How long have you lived here? I wish I'd asked him that while dropping $5 in his guitar case. The money sits in my purse as I claim my seat on the F. A strung out couple is on the love seat across from me, wrapped in a beige blanket, like they're camping or building a fort. She plays with his earlobe as he mumbles and looks around at strangers. I have 12 years of climbing the stairs to trains, of coming and going. New York is me, who I am. 38. Is there still magic for me here? 
sink into my story, snap a selfie on the train, aqua liquid liner slams, slides down, pilots of purple powder. Each day I travel, push my feet forward, I pedal down the trail, turn the wheel towards possibilities. Movement in spring, I soar above and between the trees. I, pl I fly beside and on top of sky skyscrapers. The East Village, the Starfish Boutique, by 2A week where we converge. The subways I have taken to get there. The nights I've walked home alone. These are random moments. This place, each street alive with stories. Joan Didion writes about being young in New York, when it started for her, and when it ended. Is there still magic for me here? <laughs>